Cells have a set of building blocks inside them called actin and these can form into different kinds of structure. You can think of the actin cytoskeleton as a bit like Lego. It forms into blocks and these could be in long columns or in branch networks or these can be bundled together. Actin filaments have to form in the right places otherwise the cell won't be able to use this force generated by actin to do the different jobs that it needs to do. To study how actin filaments form, we make artificial membranes and then add on cell extracts. These are made from frog eggs because the frog egg contains all the ingredients needed to make the whole organism. Using these extracts, we can assemble actin filaments outside the cell and test how it happens under different types of conditions. We use very powerful microscopes in our work to watch how the actin building blocks assemble. In my lab at the Gurdon Institute, we study how the signals in the membrane determine where these actin building blocks assemble. We found that there are two lipid signals called phosphonositides that occur together within a curved membrane surface. This curved membrane surface happens when cells need to take things up in a process called endocytosis. The membrane can also curve in the opposite direction and it can point out protrusions. These are called phylopodia and they help cells to sense their environment and find out where they need to go. There are diseases where this process goes wrong and people can end up with immunodeficiencies or problems with their kidneys or where the brain doesn't wire up properly like in autism. We use cell-free experiments to play around with our ideas. When we think we know what's going on, we go inside cells, maybe in cell culture or we use the fruit fly in order to watch how actin is assembling within cells in the whole organism. We work out how actin goes about its normal life, what might be happening when things go wrong in disease, and how we might be able to help the cell to put it right.